Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Aquariuses who are watching. So if you have Aquarius as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Aquarius. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart, Aquarius is your person. That's your person and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this is and will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you here specifically. And if it is not Aquarius, please don't take it personally. Also Aquarius, if this reading does resonate with you or if you are interested in following up with the energy that is yet to come based off of the energy of this reading right here i'll have your extended reading posted and available it will be linked in the comments and in the description but without further ado let's go ahead and get into our messages from each pile we'll pull three random messages and go from there these piles are already pre-shuffled but we'll shuffle each stack once more as we get into it so for pile one let's go ahead and do our shuffle and then with that we will pull three random messages so let's take this one we'll do this one right here and last random message for now we'll take that one so that's it for pile one now with pile two, one more shuffle. And once again, three random messages. So let's do a pink message. I want to do another pink one and we'll do this blue one. All right, so we'll go ahead and save pile three for once we get finished up. So let's see what we have here. There's a lot I'm sorting out. There's a lot I'm sorting out. We also have, you're hard to ignore. Sorry for the white lies. I'm blessed to have you. We look good together. And last but not least for now, I'm not ready to let someone in. Okay, so Aquarius. I feel like this is someone you already know here, someone that you were taking interest in. And I feel like, and of course it depends on what resonates for you, but I feel like this connection had yet to evolve, but that does not mean your time was not wasted or you don't feel like your time was appreciated with this person here. I feel like they kind of let left things on hold or even on red Aquarius say that was a literal action from this person's side. They did not respond to your message. They saw it, but they didn't even follow up with it, Aquarius. I feel as though this person just pulled away from this connection. And with your energy, I feel like you don't owe me anything, but at the same time, it's a respect. It's a courtesy thing that comes with it. And my energy, my my attention does not deserve to be ignored like that. So I, I feel like you're, if, if this does resonate for you, Aquarius, I feel like you're leaving this person alone as well. Also, perhaps you have more of an insight of what this person is dealing with, what their, like their, their own personal life. And I feel like social media could be a relevant factor. Say Aquarius, this person, did not respond to you yet they're posting on social media it's like you have time for this but you don't have time to get back to me we do have sorry for the white lies of course this could be something much bigger here Aquarius but I feel like as far as sharing your energy with anyone you're basing it off of or factor at least is honesty 
It's like, even if I don't want to hear it or you don't want to hear it, I'm going to speak it because it's how I feel. It's my truth. And there's no reason to lie. It's like, start with honesty and I'll have more respect for me or for you going on from there. But white lies are lies in general, telling not the total truth and then it catching up and then it creates this tension that could have been avoided. And also that kind of insinuating, you're not willing or naturally going to be honest with me. What is even the point of this? So sorry for the white lies, this person's energy Aquarius and perhaps their white lies shun themselves out here. It's like they knew that, that they were caught or exposed or feeling closed in because they already, it's like when you tell a lie and then you have to keep up with it. So I feel like this person they know that their actions aren't integral or like their actions or lack of actions are damaging the integrity of this connection. We have, there's a lot I'm sorting out. I feel like this is this person's energy and this could be a reason, not an excuse or justification, but for the white lies, it's like, if you're not ready to share whatever it is, then don't but no need to lie about it but also with this person closing themselves off Aquarius I feel like they went into their own shell but we do have um, or your heart to ignore this person's energy Aquarius and I feel like it's a feeling of guilt maybe it's if there has been little interaction it could be that person leaving you on red, which is still ignoring the message, but like liking the message or maybe they're checking in on your social media queries to see what you're up to. But it's just very questionable. It's like, okay, you're ignoring me, but you're still trying to check in on me. And say this person, the elephant is in the room, but this person tries to direct the the subject of the conversation to something like bland small talk i feel like you're you're not in it or you're not for aquarius sagittarius could be a relevant energy but or virgo does not have to be the case i'm not ready to let someone in i feel like this is your energy or excuse me this person's energy aquarius and their actions of course please only take what resonates for you but but based off of the energy of this reading i feel like their actions have been showcasing this. And it's a respect is earned, not given. So it's like you're showing me that you're either not wanting this or not ready for this. So I don't want that for myself here. So you and this person may have just silently went separate ways, but someone provoked it. We do have we look good together. This could be a shared or a mutual energy, or overall energy, this person being your type, you being attracted to this person, but it's also in relation to social media, a picture only shows an image. You don't know the backstory behind it. So yeah, we look good together, but that doesn't mean we're good for each other. And I'm blessed to have you. So this person's energy, Aquarius, I do feel like that guilt that I was describing, they know that they're closing off a good person or someone who seems down to earth, which is you, Aquarius. All right, so that's it for what we have, but we'll get into this deck as well. As mentioned, your extended reading will follow up with the energy from this reading. In order to view and access that reading, you'll either have to have a Patreon membership, which allows you full and total access to any and all of my extended readings, no matter what the sign is, Aquarius. So if that's the avenue you want to go with, if you're interested, that is $8.88 per month, or this reading will be available as a one-time purchase for a lower price, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and get into the last of your messages here we'll do one more shuffle and once more three random messages so we'll go with this one let's go with this one 
And we'll also go with, let's go with another green one. All right. So let's get into these one by one now. First we have, we see eye to eye. So also with, we look good together. Perhaps the, the interest or the, of course, morals to an extent, like surface level or, oh, we're in agreement with this. That makes it easier to collaborate, to be with each other, to be around each other. So there could have been harmony in that sense, but this disrupts all of that when they pull away or when they close you out. And then when there's more to the story that was, that ended up being misleading Aquarius. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. Could be this person's energy, Aquarius. But perhaps you you got close, but only you still kept your distance, just in case something happened. Last but not least, is is this too good to be true? Being skeptical of this person, Aquarius, and your intuition could have been speaking to you at this time. But we'll go ahead and follow up with this energy, but in your extended reading, which will be included in the comments and in the description, we're going to go ahead and pull a random longer message, Aquarius. So once again, it'll be at random. Let's see what we have right now. I know I'm coming off as aloof with us. I've learned that emotions of love are so powerful. It's best to hide them until you're sure you won't get hurt. I feel like this could be a shared energy. Maybe this person did it first and they started to be aloof, but it's like that didn't make you feel so trusting to or towards this person here, Aquarius. But let's go ahead and see what signs might be relevant here, Aquarius versus Sagittarius. We also have Taurus. We'll do two more signs. Sagittarius, Taurus, Aries. Last but not least is Sagittarius again and Gemini. All right, Aquarius. So that is all for your reading today. As always, I appreciate the love here and the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time or within your extended reading. Bye.